Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, classmates. So I'm the first reporter. So I'm going to discuss how to set a viewing purpose. So before you view, uh, you must set a result or purpose before viewing. So I'll give you uh, three steps on how to do it. So first is creating a purpose. So for example, uh, my purpose of viewing this movie is first is to gain information, to be entertained, or to learn about something. So step number two is you must view the title of the movie that you've been shown and preview the text and get the general idea of what it's all about. And the last, the third step is asking the questions. So when you ask the questions, there are four classifications. First is the literal question. So when you say literal, it contains about facts. Second is the interpretive question. So interpretive, so when you're asking a question that is big beyond the movie that you've been shown, Third is the evaluative. So, evaluative question. So, you're asking a question that it is the time that you make a judgment of what is, what is all about in the review. And the last is the universal question. So, asking a universal question. So, maybe you can apply what you're being shown in the movie to your real life. And that's it for set up moving purpose. So, let's proceed to number two. So, about with it. Yeah, this is
to so the two to the people of the same idea that have the two of a good life of different different types so it is all about the video picture number five making your own statements about even video talk before viewing a film there are many thoughts that comes in your mind about the topic, about the topic and the content of the video. So in order, you, in order for you to organize your thoughts, you must put it all in a list and determine if it is true or false. In doing this, you can or, you can organize your thoughts, and then you can have an idea about the given topic of the video. Number nine, anticipation guide. So, at 
participation guide is used per, uh, before with reading to activate student prior knowledge and get students excited and curious about the new topic. Before reading, student listen to the teacher or another student state keys idea about the concept in the text. So they can also read several statements about the key concept presented. So example. So this is an example of anticipated guide. So before reading, after reading, so for example, a story. So before teacher will read the story, teacher will give an abstract or a clue of what is the, what the story is. So here, here, in the portion of before reading, uh, the student will write of what they think the story is and what they believe will happen, what happened in the story. So after the student read the story, so here in the portion of after reading, uh, the student the student will write of uh, um, what they think the story and what actually happened in the story and also if um they, if uh, what they write here is agree of uh, what the story or what the concept of the story. Right, 
and what information from the video tells me that I'm correct. So, by doing this strategy, viewers can be more efficient and it helps them to activate, expand, and to activate, expand, and refine the prior knowledge. That's all, thank you. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, Mr. I'm number 30 in the I'm here to explain about clarifying. So, think about your viewing without clarifying. So, just think that you will jump into multi conclusions. So, I'm here to explain what is clarifying. While viewing, we perform biases according to our own understanding to the sequence of the story. We perform different conclusions about different elements such as climax, characters, and outcomes in the story. So, what is clarifying? Clarify must be made to avoid misconception, lack of information, and bias related to what the viewers perceive. Number 16. Monitor and refer understanding. Reading comprehension is a process of how students understand and what they are reading. And sometimes, we students somehow meet such difficult words and sentences that we can't understand. So, we need a few sub strategies. First, we read the paragraph suddenly or aloud. By reading the paragraph, we somehow go deeper to the sentence or paragraph and understand what is the meaning of it. And second, look up for unfamiliar terms. So, in reading, sometimes we face uh, difficult words. And it's very difficult to understand. So, we need to use the Wikipedia or dictionary in order to understand such terms. And next, find more information. Finding more information helps you to understand more what is the main idea of the given paragraph. And next, reference an adjusted graph, chart, or picture. We can use a graph, chart, or picture to understand the difficult words or somehow we can imagine those words with using the paragraph and getting the main idea of it. The next, search for upcoming headings to provide clarification. By using this, we can avoid misunderstanding and get the correct main idea of the sentence. Number 7. Go away to use primary and secondary technologies. To build the branches skills, students must know how to evaluate information of the beautiful. And also, students can make judgments about information gifts of prior knowledge and experiences of their cultural values and the purpose of their youth film. When students evaluate information, they confer stance and change their own personal views of the film. It is important for the students to explain what they want to do or what they want to judge about the film. And the primary goal of the objective is um, it talks about the reality, it is reality based perspective and also it is reality rather than opinion of feelings. And it is secondary model, the use of secondary model, the subjective, which is feelings or opinion rather than reality. Number 18. Make a meaningful and personalized inferences. So one thing you should also learn to do in, during watching a film is to make an inference. But first, what is an inference? An inference is an act or process of reading a, of reaching a conclusion based on facts and evidence about something. So for example, in the film Ocean Maker, one inference that I have made <coughs> is um, that the setting 
of the film was taken after global warming or with the, all, all of the oceans have dried up. So that inference led me to think of the, uh, why the characters acted that way. They were competing for the club because it is, uh, it is their only source of water at that time. So basically, inferences allow us to understand the film or something that what we are watching at the moment give us um, different perspectives and to understand its meaning. We can either give inferences in two types, either primary as primary and secondary audiences. Primary audiences are those who receive the communication directly. As for the ocean maker, that activity was mostly intended for the students. So it, it puts us on the, on the role of the primary audiences. While the secondary audiences include anyone who may indirectly receive the communication or those other viewers to view the video from YouTube. So with that, the different types of audiences, the primary and secondary audiences, it gives us different perspectives um, to give meaning to the film and to understand it much better.